Assalamu alaikum to my Muslim brothers and sisters. How are you all feeling today? It's Friday. It's another day for Juma service. I pray we all enjoy today's Juma. And I also pray Allah make us, you know, witness many more of it. Yeah, welcome back to Keeping Up With Tro. And on today's vlog, I'll be talking more about Ramadan and how to prepare for Ramadan, how to get yourself well grounded for this coming ramadan because it is almost here are you the regular practicing momin and momina or we only recognize you as muslims during the holy months of ramadan which is not very nice you need to move your chair very close to me so you can listen to this great prep talk from one of our mufti our intentions matter a lot in this blessed month that's about to knock on our various doors do you already have a map out strategy you catch up with before and during Ramadan? Are you very used to observing your daily solar? Are you the type that engages in the religious activities only in the month of Ramadan just to earn all of the benefits and rewards that comes with zakah and solar? Are you the type that recites Quran and listens to sermon? I mean eye and ear opening lectures, as the Yorubas will say, or Roishiti. Those words of Allah you will listen to that will make you have a rethink towards how you have been living your life and how you will want to restructure your path with the inclusion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not referring to those that preaches Islam and back it up with different kinds of blasphemy, curses, and vulgar words here and there. No. I'm referring to listening to lectures from the likes of the Ismail Meng, Zakir Naik, Muhyiddin Belo, and then we have some other prominent Nigerian Islamic scholars. Many of us respect this month of Ramadan by looking all modest with our attire. May Allah continue to strengthen and provide for us to appear same even after the holy month. Being modest is very beautiful, even without enhancing your beauty with any products. Let's try and inculcate that. Makeup shouldn't be a daily wear. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear it at all. Please do not misquote me because I also use makeup occasionally. The type that doesn't believe in Allah and his messengers just because you think your long time supplications and requests has not been granted. <clears throat> Kindly ensure you listen to this very beautifully composed Ramadan tips from Mufti Ismail Meng and draw out your Ramadan plan to include not just you but everyone around you. Parents should be encouraged not only during the month of Ramadan but every other day. And also, let's ensure we carry our children along in whatever plan we are doing during the month of Ramadan. Because they need to learn to do this so as they grow, they will get used to the norm. So guys, before we begin Ramadan, I will ensure I also put up a vlog to teach us the do's and don'ts during Ramadan. How to cope with Sahur and Iftar, recitation of the Old Quran and many We're more. We're almost back into the month of Ramadan, subhanAllah. Now, I want to share with you something amazing. From now, you must start planning what you want to do in Ramadan. And I'm going to tell you what that will do for you. So you must plan how much Quran you want to read, how you want to fast, what Salah you are going to read in terms of voluntary Salah over and above the compulsory Farad Salah. You would, you would perhaps get the chance to fulfill a lot more what you're going to read in terms of books, what you're going to listen to in terms of lectures, what you're going to do to expand your knowledge, what you're going to do in terms of extra ibadah, standing at night, uh, what you're going to do to make this Ramadan more meaningful and productive. Start planning from now, learning the Quran, reading the meaning of the Quran, trying to understand it, putting it into practice, changing a few things in your life, seizing the opportunity of Ramadan to change completely. Now, the reason why it's very important to make serious intentions already. We don't know if we're actually going to witness the month of Ramadan. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Allahumma balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, let us reach the month of Ramadan. Allow us to witness uh, oh Allah, allow us to witness the month of Ramadan. It's not yet Ramadan. I may die before Ramadan. And that's a reality. I may. Who knows? May Allah grant us all Jannatul Firdaus. Make it easy for us. May Allah give us paradise. But in the case where we don't make it to Ramadan because Allah's taken us away, guess what? You will have a full reward of everything you seriously intended to do because 
Definitely all your actions are judged by their underlying intentions. So the hadith says whoever intends to do good and was unable to do it, Allah writes a reward for that person. Subhanallah. So you will get a reward for whatever you intended to do but couldn't do it. And if you end up doing it and Ramadan comes, you will actually have a multiplied reward in that particular case. Look at the mercy of Allah. So this is why it's always good when you have an opportunity to think about what you want to do, to plan it, to plan it out in a beautiful way so that you're serious about it, to start thinking about how you're going to be spending Ramadan and inshallah how we're going to be making an Umrah. May Allah open that door for us as well to say Ameen. Subhanallah. Ameen Ya Rabbal Alameen. Start doing now in preparation for Ramadan is to start intending, making niyyah and start planning and start promising that inshallah I'm going to do this and inshallah this year I want to do that. I'm going to change my life. I'm going to do this and do that. And you know what? You can start with a few of these things now. Don't wait for, don't wait for Ramadan because we might not see it. And we still want an increased reward. Show Allah that we are serious about these beautiful promises that we're making. May Allah bless you all time that we're going to be leaving this earth for better, for greener pastures basically, for a better place. And we don't know when that's going to be. But inshallah, a true believer looks forward to that trip. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.